Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Thank you for that great explanation on why living under a bridge would be great, Chris. You're welcome. You can continue with the story now, please. There was Lily, venturing through the dangerous jungle. She would stop at nothing to reach Morkla. And hello again, viewers. Welcome back to Let's Play Blossom Tales 2, The Minotaur Prince. We are here in the Emerald Jungles. And I had a bit of a failed recording where even though my um, microphone was on, for some reason the sound, the voice track wasn't being recorded. So I did a little bit of thing, I did a few things before noticing that uh, my commentary wasn't getting recorded. But I didn't really do anything all that important. For one thing, I experimented with trying to burn down these piranha plants, but the fire doesn't work on them. And I got a few of these things. I found a couple canyon wisps, or I found one rather, and now I have a second one. I also discovered that uh, the apple trees here in the jungle are actually orange trees. And I found a toadstool. And beyond that, I just sort of speculated on whether or not this place was a maze. And would I have to go up and around, or could I just go straight east, or would I have to actually go south a little bit first? But. However I do it, I have to reach the uh, southeasternmost corner. And you can see I opened up the map a little bit more as well, if you were paying attention. You can see that the room to the east of here, I went and checked it out. Another orange, okay. Yep, so these uh, quote-unquote apple trees are actually orange trees. And I think this is what I believed was a rose. When I saw it from the witch's hut. But it's actually a canyon wisp, is that what it was called? Yeah, canyon wisp. Which I would expect to be over in the canyons, rather than here in the jungle, but eh, there you go. And if you go this way... Oh, what is this? A sky blossom, okay. And what's with that wacky looking platypus bird thingy up on the tree? I guess it was just some... A flavor animal or something. A pirate? There are pirates in the jungle? If you say so. Can't jump down. Archaeologist. Oh, hello there. I dug up these stones and I have a feeling they fit together in some way. Sadly, I'm too worn out from digging to put them together. Don't tell my brother I said that. If you could drag them around and see if they fit together, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Let's see. I definitely see the four corners. This piece looks like it ought to be the top middle. Not 
quite even. There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks right. So does that. Looks like it's making a picture of some kind of machine. Looks like a rose. I gotta go pick that up. <clears throat> Either I'm having a mild cold or some hay fever-like symptoms. So I'm, I've been pretty congested lately. So you'll have to excuse me if I cough or clear my throat. Oh my gosh, with this amazing discovery I'll be world famous! I won't be needing this shovel anymore. Please take it as a token of my appreciation. The archaeologist handed over his most prized possession, a beautifully handcrafted shovel. Well, in this era, pretty much anything should be handcrafted. Okay, this is clearly meant to be a face wearing some kind of headdress. But it looks very mechanical. <laughs> Like some kind of, I don't know, train car. Did they have robots in ancient times? A shovel. Okay, the lantern doesn't seem to be very useful right now. that a rose? No, it was a willow bloom. But whatever it is, I need lots of them. Ouch. What? Five oranges, and it said I planted, I gave it one of six. Oh, I'm not supposed to give six to this guy. I'm supposed to give, I'm supposed to find six of them. All right. Follow it. Another toadstool. And that looks like an orange tree, but there aren't any oranges to cut off of it. That's a shame. More bandits. Huh. This looks like a bombable wall.
<laughs> he threw his daggers at me, but they hit the tree. <laughs> what a fool. A gem. I think that's what that was. Oh, look at that. I want to get that flower. Can I get around? I can't get around. Hmm. Can't get to that guy. That's really disappointing. I can't get around this pond to get over to that uh, flower. I have to leave the screen. North, dig site. South, Anchor Town. Oh, Anchor Town. I need to go there. I wonder if those downed trees are important somehow. There's one right here. I mean, there could be stuff hidden in them. It doesn't appear, though, that there is anything. That's a shame. And can I please mark the map? I want to mark the map so that I know to come back here to get this cracked wall. Or at least so I have some clue. Uh, how do I mark it? A doesn't do the trick. B just zooms in. Or out. X doesn't do anything. Left and right trigger don't do anything. Left and right bumper will just move to different screens. Oh, man. I'm never going to remember that this is here. That just irritates me. Big bugs. Giant mosquitoes or something. Aha! One of those types of flowers I need. Whatever they're called. I can't get through here. Last. Dig spot. And an orange tree. One of these flowers. Ooh, big B. Huh. I can't get through it down here. This really is kind of maze-like. 
at least to get to these optional areas. Alright, Anchor Town is supposed to be down here. Let's go to Anchor Town. Hey, kid, help! Fish is a monster! I can barely hold on! Grab my coat and pull me back! Atta girl, I think I got it! I can't believe it! This is the biggest fish ever! With this scaly beast, I can retire for good this time! My grandkids didn't believe my old fishing stories, so I had to show them what's what. Also, fish oil is good for inflammation. You'll understand when you're older, kiddo. I can see you eyeing my fishing rod. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. A fishing minigame. Now we truly have a Zelda game in our hands. <laughs> oh, you've never fished before? I'll have you hooked in no time. <laughs> I see what you did there. First, find a good fishing spot and equip your fishing rod. If you see ripples, the fish are hungry. Next, cast your rod. The longer you hold when casting, the further the lure will go. Be patient. Don't always reel in on the first nibble. Wait till you know the fish is bitten. Happy fishing! Okay, so in other words, he's talking about that kind of ripple over there. The one to the left and the one down. Also, there's one off to the right there. Alright, well, let's give it a shot. Okay. So I wait until it starts bobbing up and down faster and then I hit the uh, A button to reel it in. Sounds fair. And it gets added to my potion recipe ingredients. A grayscale fish, eh? Alright, let's try this one. Not far enough. Good enough? Yep. A bluefin! Alrighty. And there's one right there. Right in the center. Another bluefin, okay. Oh, and it's come back. Yet another blue fin. Any more? Looks like that's it. Perfect. Lime fish, yeah. Alright, wasn't there something about figuring out why Anchor Town is not able to get stuff back to our hometown? Oh, I lost the coin. Oh well. How is that rod treating you? I've gotten a few fish with it. Okay, another one of these things. Another orange tree. Up here, can I? Hmm. A 
I'll have to remember that for later. For now, there are some people over here to speak to. Oh, more fishing. Uh, well, if I must, then I must. Slime fish. Ugh. Whatever that's called again, I don't remember her. <laughs> Grayscale. Looks more like a blue scale. Gray fins. Spots respond pretty quickly. Not close enough. There we go. And uh, stop responding, I can't resist. Too soon. There we go. Another grayscale. Ah, stop it! I don't want to spend all my time fishing. There we go. So I can cast it too far, and then reel it back in. I mean, I need the potion ingredients. Life is best when it's just me, my fishing rod, and a good fishing spot. And no one's stealing your money, right? A starfish? He was keeping a starfish? Well, alright. More potion ingredients, I suppose. Anything under the table? No, I can't push it. Alright. Witches melt in water, so maybe minotaurs do too. That's how it works, right? Don't even know about witches, mister. Oh, darn it, I keep pushing the wrong one. The Rusty Dory Shop. Rusty Dory? I said parlay to the pirates. Instead of negotiating, they stole my pants. My pants! Well, if you were to ask, the code is apparently mostly guidelines. Then, solid rules. Those pirates must be after my smoked fish cakes recipe. Okay, can I have the recipe? I would, uh, treasure it always. Ah, uh, a bonefish? I can't think of what else that would be called. Fish bones. Okay. Ah, alchemy. Does this guy have any recipes? 
The Emerald Jungles were dangerous enough already without pirates. I imagine that's true. Don't you have a recipe though? I really want to brew more potions. Of course, I only have a single bottle and it's already full, so... The Minotaur King is back? I heard of some kids fall. No, not true at all. Don't ever believe silly stories like that. I mean, honestly. What... What kind of silly nonsense can you say that people won't believe? Bottle. I could definitely use that. You have anything to say? Hey there, it's you again. Remember we met in the cemetery. This is my shop. Unfortunately, pirates ransacked it while I was gone. <laughs> they took my fish collection. Each one of the plaques held unique fish from all over the land. Who would want to buy stuff from a fisherman with a, without a cool fish collection? No one, that's who. I can't leave my shop unattended. Give me fish to fill my collection. I would happily pay you. Do you have any fish you'd like to sell me? He doesn't want a starfish or fish bones. I'll take grayscale, blue skin, blue fins, and slime fish. Okay, the third one, the first one is 30, and each subsequent one is 10, eh? Fishing is the best. Nothing beats casting your line into the blue unknown. Okay, what's this price? 150? Hey, I can afford that. 250 for these, right? Yeah, I thought so. Piece of heart, 250. Still don't have enough. I guess I could sell them a few more fish to make that up, but... Honestly, it's not going to be long before I just get the gold by finding it. Go across the bridge. Hey, you're in my way! Darn it. Please get out of my way. <sighs> Rude. Adventurer trying to come through here, I'll have you know. Does this lead to that other area? Looks like it ought to. Fish him up. I think the answer to that is no. Okay, well, at least I got that treasure chest. up enough grass and bushes. Another one of those rose-like flowers. How many of those did I need again for the 
Trader back in Blossomdale, eight. from that direction. Where am I exactly? Okay, if I go further south, maybe I can come up and around? Okay, I still haven't really figured out why they're having trouble getting stuff over to Blossomdale. That's what the smith was saying. Is it because of the pirates? The enemies, the pirates? Jeez, how many people will understand that reference? Not many, I'd wager. We tell kids a ghostly lady with a painted face will kidnap them if they pollute the river. Hmm. And then they do it to find out because they think it'd be cool and learn that you're lying and well then they won't listen to anything you ever say ever again oh okay this is the person I need to deliver that to I thought they stopped delivering packages you know because of the Minotaur King's return these smoked red herrings smell delightful. Thanks for the daring delivery. The last time I ordered these, a troll named Gruff took them as payment to cross this dumb bridge. I'm not worried. Which is melt and water, so maybe Minotaurs do too. That's how it works, right? What was that? Seaweed. Huh. I'm getting an awful lot of items. Is it possible that there are more potion ingredients than there are spaces to hold them? There's a treasure chest here. You have to pay the adventurer's tax. It's required. Adventurer comes to your house. They do have to loot everything. That's just how it is. Fishing. Another yucky slime fish. I'm sure, getting a lot of those. down here. Oh, stop that. I'm getting really tired of that. Okay, where are you? Where are, there you are. Oh, that didn't kill him. Well, darn it. Big spot. Okay, let's get rid of this blasted fishing rod. Is this someone friendly? Hey there, can you help? My horse is stuck in the mud. I can't go in or I'll sink too. Do you have some rope or something to get him out? I'll wait here. Please get help. Well, I don't know if it counts. Ocean. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't know if it counts, but... Are 
you trying to use your fishing hook? You could have poked the poor girl's eye out. Animal cruelty, animal cruelty, animal cruelty! Okay, nope, that's not working. Hey, I can wade through this one. Snail shell? Yeah, okay. Hmm. And what's this? I thought it was just another toadstool. This is a melon. Huh. Willow bloom. Lots of pirates here. Dig spot. Okay. Another gem. Alrighty. Can't open these from the back. They have to be up front. Hmm. More fish. So good. Oh, this is taking a while. Hmm. I thought maybe that was a special fish since it was taking so long, but no, I guess it's just randomized how long it takes. Infinite fish spots? Yes, they are. So here's this guy. Nice to see he pops up in other places too. So they don't have to go all the way back to Blossomdale. Are you ready for a trade? I have just enough of those flowers. Okay. And, uh... Orb shield? Orb shield? Okay. I won't complain. Back for another trade? Okay, I need whatever kind of seashell that is and a few more snail shells. Alright, but what's with the blockade? Why can't the smith guy back in Blossomdale get anything from here? Hmm. I am kind of stumped on that point. Do I have to find the pirates and just murder them all? Like this guy? Okay, well I'm supposed to be going to the east, but let's go around this way. And of 
course I can't get through. Okay, that's three of the six shrines given their reward or whatever. Offering. Oh, one of those seashells. can't get over there, can I? <sighs> Darn it. Okay. Probably locked away until I learn how to swim. Or maybe until I get bombs and can bomb my way to the north from here. Yeah, there are an awful lot of pickups. It's really starting to look like there might be more pickups than I have space to carry them all. Unless I can carry more than 25. Yeah, I thought so. gems are for? Fishing! Huh. Okay, I should have seen that coming. Oh, darn it. I was pushing the wrong button. Uh, my thumb drifted off the A button and went to B. Another one of those? If this is the ocean, shouldn't I have different fish available to me? Apparently not. Well, that's disappointing. about what the problem is with getting items over to Blossomdale. build a sandcastle, but I just can't get a good form. The most important thing about building a big sandcastle is a solid frame. I need shells. Do you have any shells? Unfortunately, I don't have enough, it would appear. out there? Is he safe? I'm so worried about him. I moved down here to be closer to the ocean. 
But now all I do is worry. But you have to let kids be kids, you know. We can't protect them all the time, can we? You just do the best you can and hope fate is kind to them. Truth is, he's really quite independent, and this big house is getting lonely. Yeah, I guess that's the way it goes when you're a parent. Suddenly, the young knight heard a thunderous croaking sound. Frogs from the Periwinkle Woods had traveled downstream. Ew, I hate frogs. Honey Badgers is just so much cuter. Stop changing the story, you dweeboid. I'll flip a coin. Those weren't Honey Badgers. <laughs> they didn't even qualify as badgers, they were tanukis. False advertising, we're sticking with frogs. Is that the way I was supposed to go? Because the road seems to be going north. Here, all right then. Can't cross up here either. Another gem, alrighty. And another orange. Stupid thumb, for some reason, is having really new stand. Oh! I was gonna say new stand? What? A balloon stand. So I can fast travel back to the village now. There! Now that bilge eaten lass, you'll never get to Morkla. Aye! Not without bombs, she won't. Keep it down, you barnacle brain. That pit squeak might hear you. My stone stack and blisters are in the for naught because of your big mouth. I'm making you shark bait, savvy? Aye aye, consider these salty lips sealed, sir. Good. Besides, our bombs are kept safely at our beach hideout, so unless. Oh, sir, you might want to. I'm talking here, you scalawag. As I was saying, blimey, it's a little landlubber. Give no quarter, matey. Yar! Okay. Map updated, so now I know where to get bombs. Once I check the map. Beach headquarters, they said. Ah, over there, okay. And hey, I can get across now. Wait a second, that's where Morkla is anyway. I guess if I come from the east, I can't get to her. So I have to go north through this blocked off area and then down. That's the only thing that makes sense. West Anchor Town, South Pirates Cove. Lots of these things here. Does someone important live here, I wonder? More bomb rocks. A 
Another witch, eh? Is she gonna give me another recipe? If she doesn't, I will be rather irritated. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, aren't you a sweet little plum? Are you lost, dearie? Oh, potion ingredients. It warmed my old heart to see a little lady like yourself taking up the fine art of witchery. Kids these days would rather fiddle around with a stone tablet game than learn the mystic arts. Anywho, I know just what to teach you. With this potion, you can cheat death itself. I should mention that your little belly can only hold one rejuvenation potion at a time. Oh, what were the ingredients again? Hmm. Ah, that's right. Combine an orange, seaweed, chrysanthemum, and starfish. Use it well, sweetie. New recipe! Is that the Gulixer potion that that letter was talking about? Okay, I have enough ingredients. I only have two starfish, but I only need one, so... I mean, when uh, the troll was talking about non nom juice, he meant a health potion. So maybe that's this dead guy's name for whatever I just did, the rejuvenation potion. Gulixer. Did you forget the ingredients for rejuvenation potion? No, I was hoping you could tell me if it's a Gulixer. An orange, seaweed, chrysanthemum, and starfish. Yeah. Okay, so I just have to keep finding witches about the place, and that's how I get new ingredients that would appear. Why did I have to go... Is that the only place where I'll find a bridge? Is that what's going on here? Hmm, it would appear so. What's that? Looks like a big flea. Also kind of looks like an octorok. I do indeed have to go north from that place to get up there and go around to find Morkla. Why would they want to stop me from finding Morkla? Did the Minotaur King put them up to it? I hope the game explains that at some point. until he was out of weapons and then cornered him. Oh well, then. It's not merely a hideout, it's a cove where they've anchored their ship.
All right. They haven't anchored their ship. They ran aground. Because there's a big hole in their hull there. Guessing the bombs will be in this tent right here, right? First primate. Goodness me, the least you could do is knock before rudely intruding into one's abode. What discourtesy among today's youth. Like wild animals, I must say. The first primate. <laughs> Are you kidding, Grandpa? It's a monkey. He should talk like a monkey. Ah, ah, ooh, ooh. No, stop changing the story, Chris. I like the smart monkey. <clears throat> Pardon me, I must have swallowed a piece of banana peel unaware during brunch. Now, to teach you some manners, primitive behavior shan't be tolerated. Okay, I have to throw them back at her? Donkey Kong reference, throwing barrels. Ah, he dodged. Got the lighter. Got him. Up, you dummy. Okay, he'll run away from me. If I keep him running, I might be able to get a few sniping hits from time to time and stop with this stupid barrel chasing thing. There we go. Whoa, really? Bombs? Cool! Ho ho, indeed. The bombs would allow Lily to blow up rocks in her path. Map updated. Okay, so Morkla's to the north, and not down here. Huh. I guess that makes sense, but why would they be so desperate to block off the eastern side of this river? Well, let's go find out. Nail shell. All right, bombs, eh? Bombs, eh? Dig spots. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, a treasure chest. Lots of money. Makes sense since these are pirates. They have a lot of plunder. And now it's mine. And a bombable spot on the wall, I do believe. the shovel in here. Let's go back to the shield. Two treasure chests. With money! And more money! Okay. Too far away. Hmm. I'm running low on time for this episode, but I want to see what everything else is on that side of that river. So let's see if I can blitz through there really fast. I keep picking up dead fish. And I don't see them on the map before I do. It's kind of weird. I don't see them on the screen, I should say. Wait a second, I can't go any further over here. Ah. So tempted, but no. I'm out of time for the episode. I'm just going to find someplace comfortable. Here we go. It's not exactly a palace, but it'll do. Keep the rain off at the very least. Alright, viewers, uh, this is the end of the episode, so thank you very much for watching Let's Play Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince. In the next episode, we will uh, finish up in the jungle here and then make our way to Morkla and see what she has to say. I'm betting it'll be, you know, go fetch me something and or go into this uh, very dangerous dungeon and beat the boss. Something along those lines. We'll find out when we get there. See you later. Thank you.